So why it's important to learn 5G before the open run? Because most of the uh, applications of the open run uh, will be implemented here in the 5G, including LTE pa rin. No? Pero meron mga, meron mga vendors that are implementing open run in the all G, no? uh, meaning uh, includes 2G, 3G. But uh, most of the uh, operators or vendors are focusing on LTE and 5G. And as you can see also in the previous uh, presentation from our uh, yes, uh, lecturer, um, in 6G, uh, Open RAN is also uh, one of the key technologies. No? So what is 5G? So when we talk about 5G, 5G means uh, fifth generation. Okay, Fifth generation, 5, pang lima, G is the generation okay, of wireless technology. And this is the latest iteration of the mobile network that we use to connect our smartphones and other devices to the internet. Meron tong tatlong use cases. Okay, tatlo. Three major use cases. Enhanced mobile broadband or EMBB. Enhanced mobile broadband. MMTC, massive machine type communications. Okay. And ultra reliable and low latency communications or the UR LLC. So, sa mga technical interviews, palaging tinatanong to. Okay. What are the three use cases of 5G? So, you just have to remember these uh, three uh, use cases, major use cases enhanced mobile broadband, massive machine type communications, and ultra reliable and low latency communications okay all right so sir how do we simplify the explanation of embb so when we talk about embb okay when we say embb enhance mobile broadband it only means higher capacity and faster throughput okay like gigabytes in second okay so gigabit per second 1 gigabit per second umaabot na si 5 dyan. Okay, gigabytes in uh, storage. Okay, the sobrang bilis ni 5G, you can also stream or watch in the 3D video or ultra high definition screens. You can also work and play in the cloud. Okay, that's the main benefits of EMBB. Actually, this is the first uh, use case na we experienced when 5G was launched here in the Philippines. We experienced faster. Um, throughput and higher capacity. Okay, so when we are talking about EMBB, we are talking about capacity and throughput. So kapag tinanong kayo sa kahit anong interview, so when you explain simply yung EMBB, so that's higher capacity and faster throughput. Next is the MMTC. MMTC means uh, massive machine type communications. Ano yung massive machine type? So meaning uh, millions of devices connected to the network. Ano yung mga yon in simpler terms? That is what we call the massive IoT or the Internet of Things. So 5G has the capability to connect up to 1 million devices per square kilometer. So ganun karami ang devices that we can connect to our network when you're using a 5G, especially if you're using 5G4 network. And with these use cases, you can uh, implement different applications like smart city where you can even connect wireless camera okay wireless cctv with hd no? high definition uh, uh, videos you can also connect your smart uh, smart home or buildings smart elevators smart escalators okay so everything that can be connected will be connected using the iot devices and using the 5G network. So we call that use cases as a massive machine type communications. Not also this, no? Um, yung mga devices natin sa mga production lines sa industry, we can also connect that. Um, smart port, yung mga ports natin, yung mga PR, okay, we can also connect that to the, to the network. So that is uh, what we call the massive machine type communications. When we talk about ultra-reliable, and low latency communications, ultra reliable, meaning it's very or extremely reliable. 
ano yung sabihin ng extreme reliable, hindi to basta-basta nagda-down. Up to 99.9999% of the time. Okay, so if you calculate that in one year or in one day, it's just like a millisecond downtime. Halos di mo na uh, experience ng downtime. Okay? And low latency communications. Meaning na low latency, um, instant response ng network up to milliseconds. One millisecond ang target ng 5G. So, ultra-reliable, hindi siya basta-basta nagda-down, and fast response or instant response ng network. What are the different applications we can use using the URLLC? Self-driving car. Okay, so if you're driving uh, uh, an advanced car right now, like for example, powered by ADAS, okay, advanced driving assistance system, may ADAS system ka, no? So currently ngayon, may mga cruise control lang, di ba? And then lane, lane assist. But this time, the self-driving car, just imagine your phone or your mobile phone is equipped with four wheels and a steering wheel. Yeah. So, meaning, yung, 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 yung sasakyan or vehicle is now connected to the network just like your, your mobile phone, right? You have your SIM card or you have the eSIM or embedded SIM or integrated SIM of your, uh, of your devices. Now, <clears throat> you can watch uh you can watch uh, entertainment uh, uh movies in your car okay uh your car is also talking to different cars okay so we have a different topic for that we call it the v2x vehicle to everything okay and in common term we call it the self driving car okay so the urlc is very important here why because um there is a uh, um life at stake you know, kapag ka nag-down yung system it can cause uh, uh, loss of human lives or even accidents that's why it's very important to have an ultra reliable and low latency communications okay um, we can also use it in mission critical applications like e-health industry automation okay and augmented reality okay so you can see there is also an intersection of uh, each use cases okay Intersection of the MMTC and the URLC, MMTC and EMBB, and the uh, combination of three. Okay? Okay, so I hope this is uh, uh, clear. The use cases of 5G, the EMBB, the MMTC, and the URLC. Okay?